up to 1930s. Guitar was like this, a classic guitar. Then there a new invention was there. Let's put the mic. It's called the uh, first electric guitar. In 1931, the musician George Beauchamp and the electric engineer Adolf Rickenbacker invented the electric guitar with the purpose to make it audible in the context of big bands with piano, horns, drums and other loud instruments. In the beginning, the sound was very dirty and there were many technical flaws, but nevertheless the electric guitar met almost immediately a huge success. Might this story teach us anything interesting today? I think uh, this story is very much applied to the electric vehicle. When people know about uh, recent electric vehicle, just point out the autonomy range is very short. The charging takes a long time, comparing to gasoline engine. It's very natural, but uh, think about electric guitar. Like we need to uh, utilize the all the benefit of electric vehicle, which is like very quick, very quiet, and amazingly economy. Like uh, moving cost is almost zero. No cost like gasoline is needed. I often say take one zero from your monthly expense. Like uh, this much of the you know, good point have to be more and more emphasized um, by uh, new product planning of electric vehicle. That's what I can learn from uh, this guitar story. Hello, uh, my name is Masato Inoue. I did the uh, chief designer of this car, Nissan Leaf. Today I'd like to talk about the smart mobility, which is sustainable mobility. The so-called smart mobility issue is made up of two different problems. The first one, is related with the energy needs. We human beings are burning in just 300 years all the oil and natural gas that has formed on our planet over the course of about 4.6 billion years. Recently, the British Petroleum estimated that it takes only 54 years before the oil runs out completely. The second problem is related with the greenhouse effect and the so-called global warming we have to consider that about 25% of man-made CO2 emissions originate from the transport industry. Now, all the governments set very ambitious CO2 reduction targets, but if the transport system remains the same as it is today, those targets are very difficult to achieve. We need a radical change. We have to solve the, this problem. And for these two factors, Electric vehicle has a super nice efficiency of uh, about 80% to 9% comparing to ICE vehicle, internal combustion engine vehicle of uh, 20 to 30%. So by using nice efficiency, this car can be a really sustainable smart mobility. Every age has always claimed that its way of moving, its transport system, was smart, the best of all possible systems. For the men of the late Neolithic period, between 4500 and 2000 BC, the invention of the wheel and the use of the first cards represented the state of the art, the smartest technological development he could ever imagine. Every epoch has its own definition of smart mobility. Before to speak about smart mobility, it is necessary to focus our attention to the smart philosophy. This approach was 
a constant aspect of the innovation process also in ancient times but now in the present we have to insert our innovation within a context that is smart we have to consider not only physical technical features of the item itself but take into account the relationship with the ambient with the environment naturally with the people will use this object Hello, I live in Turin, a very busy town full of cows, and I've been growing more and more fed up with the poor quality of the air and the noise. Let's go up. I would like to show you the problem I'm talking about from a different perspective, more elevated. Do you see that halo, yellowish fog underneath? That's smog, polluting microscopic particles present in the atmosphere and in the air that we breathe. For days, it was above 100 microns for cubic meter of air, a level which is very dangerous for our health. The level which is tolerated by law is less than 50, and Turin was well above that for 86 days in 2016. Since 85% of this particulate in the air in cities like Turin comes from traffic, the solution seems only one, to banish all polluting engines and give space to electric vehicles, bikes, electric car sharing, and electric public transport. The need to switch to electric transport is clear and indispensable. That's why around 2014, a group of automotive companies guided by the Basque Mondragon Automation decides to launch a project aimed at producing an innovative electric vehicle for commuters. The project, called the Weevil from the shape of the homonymous animal, gets funded by the European Union's R&D programme Horizon 2020 and begins its activity among the general enthusiasm. The main ideas are there, but the challenge is demanding and many different skills are needed. The first commitment is to expand and consolidate the group of companies and professionals involved. Team building is the hot word. From the very beginning of the project, we wanted to develop the concept that has solved the problem of people traveling from their homes to job. So which was our proposal? It was to develop a three-wheeler with one special feature and it's the ability to change the track of the three-wheeler. It will be wider at high speeds and it will be narrower at low speeds to let the vehicle park in a very narrow position, not very dissimilar to a motorbike. And way electric and not conventional, because in the long term, electric is a much cheaper solution. You won't have maintenance, and you will be able to uh, run 100 kilometers with only 1.5 euros. Try to do that with a conventional engine. So we're looking for developing this vehicle, this special vehicle for the L category niche. So we started thinking, we started contacting our possible partners uh, for a project like this, someone who could contribute with uh, technology for the batteries, someone who could contribute with uh, new materials or new solutions for structure. We also were looking for someone that would contribute with some sort of style to make this uh, marketable vehicle. Why this company was interested for us? Because it was a small one, they have a very specialized product, was a niche product which not compete with the big OEM. Comer produce small utility vehicles. They are vehicles not for passengers. They are vehicles for to work. So it's very, really specialized. And the second reason, is an industrial reason, is because this company has a lot of things to, uh, to make better around the, the product, about the quality, about the cost. So in this project, Comer is going to win in any case because of the wheel vehicle success. In, a, in, a, in this case, Coma is going to have a new market, or in any case, we are going to learn to have new suppliers, 
a baby most important to have made so many friends. It was a sort of fate. At the end of July of 2015, a guy of the guidance office of Yad called me and said, Adriano, we need your advertising. You participate with other universities, other companies in a new project. Name it Wheels or something else. IAAD is the most renowned Italian private university for design. It's got six different degree programs and four masters, but having its headquarters in Turin, the Italian capital for cars, is not surprised that the most important and distinguished course and master are exactly the transportation design ones. The president of the IAAD's transportation design department is no other than Giorgetto Giugiaro, probably the most celebrated car designer in the world. Wheel is also a design project and we have to understand the method that the designer used. This new car is small, is funny, is smart, is simple. We have a lot of proposal in terms of design and we have to choose. The best way to choose when an object is simple is to research this condition. So at the end also the material, the aspect are fundamental. From the marketing point of view, the Weevil experts decided it would have been useful to investigate three different aspects. First, the typical profile and therefore the common needs of the commuters around the world. Second, the way the electric vehicles are perceived today in the general public. Third, what kind of reception the consumers would have reserved to a vehicle like Weevil. To investigate these issues, were carried out both a desk research and a series of focus groups conducted in Italy and Germany. It came out that uh, uh, people felt that uh, commuter was more stressful than uh, the working time. The attitude to electric vehicles look, uh, uh, generally speaking, very positive. Most people are very uh, sensitive about the problem related to pollution, Everybody knows that probably petrol will run out in the future, so electric vehicles are the future. The point is how far our data is the future. Most consumers appreciated what are the features of Vivian. There was a lot of interest about the picture system, about the performances of electric engines. And most people uh, clearly said that uh, they might consider Vivian as a possible vehicles for their daily commute. From the very beginning, the Weevil project was coordinated by Jon Madariaga of Technicor, a young manager as kind as gentle in the communication habits as inflexible in respecting deadlines. All or almost all the partners were fond of him, but towards the end of 2016, a bolt from the blue. All of a sudden, Jon decided to leave Technical and therefore the Weevil project to found his own bicycle company. The team's surprise was big, as it was the sorrow. Who would have picked up the baton? So, things change in life and things change in projects. I was very enthusiastic and passionate about the Weevil project. I was involved with it since the very beginning. I was working side to side with the different designers, so I have no doubt this will be a, a sure success. I mean, there was something else going on the side at nights and weekends related to a different mean of transport apart from Weevil, which was bicycles, which is my personal passion. When John moved to his own company, Techniker transferred the responsibility of uh, coordinating uh, Weevil projects to me. Previously, I, my commitment in the project was uh, limited to the development of the whole new electric motor. So I was actually in the project since the very beginning. Side by side with John, 
which was, I must say, a really great coordinator. So the transition for me was quite smooth. Coordinating Weevil project for me is one of the biggest challenges I have ever taken and at the same time one of the uh, biggest pleasures because it is a multidisciplinary project and uh, most of all it is outstandingly innovative. Since when it rains it pours, in the same period of time the Weevil community was forced to change not only the coordinator but also to replace the company that was supposed to provide for the final assembly of the vehicle. Indeed, Comart was experiencing severe corporate difficulties and wasn't able to confirm its commitment to the project. Well, by the end of the first year of the project, we faced a significant adversity, as Comart informed us that they were running into financial difficulties and that they would stop producing electric vehicles in a few months. This was quite a tragic moment for us because one of the companies inside our own corporation was actually supporting Comar's activity. So we had to look for another electric vehicle manufacturer for Weevil and happily uh, we found an excellent alternative very soon. Telling the truth, the quest for Comar's substitute did not last for long. Close to Turin, where is IAAD's headquarter, there's a well-renowned company named Checomp that designs, engineers and produces prototypes, components and complete vehicles on behalf of the major car companies worldwide. So, it was natural to give them a call and offer them to join the Weevil project team. Try to guess. Yes, you are right. They immediately agreed with enthusiasm. Innovation is one of the premises that is uh, our company uh, has been founded. So, for instance, this is an old uh, project, but this was the first electric uh, vehicle that was developed here in, uh, in Czech. And we are talking of uh, more than 15 years ago. Electric power trains are giving us more freedom in terms of uh, architecture. We will project as a lot of uh, innovative uh, content. A completely unusual architecture, I think, is a very important example to show what will be the future. In essence, Weevil is a dense agglomerate of ideas and technologies. Configuration layout, composite materials, electric engine, battery pack, design solutions. Virtually, every element of Weevil stands out for one or more technical innovation. And since the whole is always more than the sum of its parts, the project developed through many steps of progressive integrations until it reached a satisfactory creative synthesis. At the very beginning of the project, we had to choose between tadpole and delta configurations for our three wheelers. Tadpole means two wheels at the front and one wheel at the rear, while delta means one wheel at the front and two wheels at the rear. Well, this was actually an easy choice for us because uh, tadpole configuration has important advantages. Comparing to the delta type three wheelers, tadpole configuration has superior transversal stability. The layout is cost-friendly because the rear differential mechanism can be eliminated. That pole is more stable dynamically, especially with a very wide rear wheel as we have in, in Weevil project. Second advantage is braking, because you have two wheels at the front to assist the braking action. Also, when that pole configuration is combined with electric vehicle's low gravity point due to the battery being located at the bottom of the body. It creates ideal stability for the vehicle. And the last advantage is aerodynamics, because in a tough pond design, the vehicle looks like a teardrop, and this is just the perfect shape of a vehicle, the one that has less air friction. For electric vehicles, it is very important to make the vehicle light because autonomy is very much linked with weight. Fiber reinforced plastic is famous for its lightness and strength. It is even now used for racing cars 
and it is the reason why current BMW i series are using it. But FRP has a weak point, which is its low production speed. Our WeWheel partner Elena is trying to realize a big breakthrough to improve this point. Elena and Mondragon University have developed a new pultrusion process that is based on the ultraviolet curing that helps to overcome the limitation of the traditional pultrusion. This process is based on curing the material out from the dye using ultraviolet radiation and allows three main advantages. The first one, the productivity is or gets uh, higher several times than compared to the traditional pultrusion. The second one, as the pulling force gets um, very much reduced, the cost uh, of the machinery are also reduced highly. And the third one, the profile can get shaped before it's cured and this allows us to manufacture curved uh, or 3D uh, profiles. In order to manufacture the chassis, and we have two main aims. The first one is to be affordable, and the second one is to uh, present good performance in case of impact events. Uh, when we look in detail to the vehicle structure, we can divide it to underbody and upper body. Underbody, uh, I mean the chassis of the vehicle, will be from fiberglass composite material. We also added uh, some reinforcement uh, brackets into fiberglass material to make the uh, chassis more robust, more reliable. For the upper structure of the vehicle, we used aluminium. This uh, gave us opportunity to make it uh, light and uh, robust as well. Top head of the vehicle, which covers the aluminium parts, will be also from fiberglass composite material. There are several very narrow cars coming into the market, such as Toyota iLoad. In general, these vehicles are leaning during uh, turns and corners. So, driving them feels close to driving a bike. But if the narrow body is basically for having a minimum footprint in parking situation, is there any simpler answer? Our We Will partner Mondragon is tackling this with a new technology. We call it Pincer. Pincer system is a mechanism that we are developing to facilitate the parking ability of a car. For that purpose, we are designing a mechanism that is able to vary the track width of the vehicle. We have to change the steering system and suspension system of a car because the architecture is not going to be a usual suspension and steering architecture. We need to install some steering system we actuated by, by cable. So at the end it is a suspension system that is uh, new for a vehicle. For small city vehicles, Power trains need to be conscious, yet vital. Magnet-free motors are a more affordable option than permanent magnet motors. However, getting a high performance out of them is a challenge so that they can be a good fit for vehicles like we build. A new kind of such a motor is on the way of developing. The objective for the motor in Weevil project is to be competitive with existing solutions for the automotive application. So we considered four key points. Reduced cost, robustness, compactness, because Weevil is a small vehicle, and efficiency, to optimize the vehicle autonomy and the battery life. Having these aspects in mind, we bet for a solution that combines, firstly, switched product and motor technology which doesn't have permanent magnets that increase the cost and are sensitive to temperature. This way we have reduced cost and robustness. Secondly, this technology also contributes to the efficiency at higher speeds. And finally, the compactness is achieved with a gearbox that is integrated inside the motor 
and an electronic driver hardware design also adapted to the motor shape. Even in 2020, the battery will be still a key player in electric vehicles. Its cost, performance, power weight ratio, safety aspect, etc. will directly relate to the performance of the electric vehicle. And there will be huge competition among giant battery makers. Therefore, flexibility of choice in the battery will be critical factor. We will cause interchangeable battery system is surely aiming for this. The batteries are a fundamental component for the usability of the vehicle. Customers have a lot of different needs and uh, the battery technology is uh, evolving so much so it will be very limiting to have it as a fixed component of the vehicle. In the Weaving project, the concept is to make the battery as a component which can be manufactured with different technology by different producers and with different performances, but still having a strong integration with the other parts of the vehicle and with the user interface. We are developing two different battery packs to try to optimize the range of the vehicle or the cost of the battery pack for the users that needs a cost-effective electric vehicle. It is being said that powertrain transition to electric battery and motor is once in a hundred years. The flexibility of layout, packaging, and the proportion will also change drastically. For the car designers, to add new value to electric vehicle is really a meaningful challenge. But what about customers? What are their expectations in order to look differently to electric vehicles? Let's see how the IAAD designers tackled it. Masato and his IAAD students have developed three different proposals for the body and two for the interior. These proposals were submitted on one hand to the judgment of all managers and technicians involved in the project and on the other hand to a selection through online voting. The result of the selection process is the one and only we will electric vehicle. I'm sure that it's mm -hmm. going very mm -hmm. well. I'm uh, kind of happy to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty much enjoying this project. Since uh, like uh, these 20 years, I'm uh, quite much uh, involved about uh, electric vehicle design. And uh, this is kind of ideal ground to me. And especially like a small vehicle uh, like this is a really a future, I really believe. And comparing to gasoline vehicle, the electric vehicle has a more meaning to be small. And uh, I feel really uh, this work is for my kids, for my, you know, uh, next generation people, uh, because uh, this is more friendly to us project. This is a technology disruption or actually this is several technology disruptions. If anything, it's going to happen faster than I think. There's no breakthroughs needed. There's no leap of faith. The clean disruption of energy and transportation will happen. It's inevitable. By 2030, essentially all energy is gonna be solar. By 2030, all cars are going to be electric and are going to be autonomous or semi-autonomous. Think about electric vehicles as essentially computer tablets on wheels. 
electric vehicles are now on Moore's Law. They are computers on wheels, which means they are improving at a very, very fast rate, uh, a rate at which conventional uh, gasoline cars could never compete. Today, we have cars that are essentially parked 96% of the time. When we have self-driving cars, essentially they're going to be driving 90% of the time. The number of cars on the road is going to shrink by about 80 to 90% because they're going to be driving 90% of the time instead of being parked 90% of the time. More money, more investment, more R&D is going into the improvement of batteries, which if anything, will make the clean disruption happen even faster than, than even I anticipate. Have a nice trip, Mr. Weaville.